Hi, this is Mr. Surface, and we're going to do a short mini lesson on the symbol. Let's annotate the notes on the symbol itself briefly on page 23. Turn to page 23. 23. Figurative meaning, symbolism. A symbol is anything that stands for or represents something else. Symbolism is the use of symbols. Nothing particularly um, it's crazy there. Um, I've sometimes heard it phrased this way. Um, something that has a secondary, secondary meaning. Um, for instance, like a thumbs up. Secondary meaning is good job. Symbols are common in everyday life as well as in literature. For example, a dove with an olive branch in its beak is a symbol of peace. In literature, symbolism can highlight certain ideas the author wishes to emphasize. So, this is particularly important. Right? Certain ideas are important in culture and literature. Right? So if you're writing a very patriotic story or a patriotic film, um, if there is a flag in that film, then it's likely that ideas concerning uh, the nation, patriotism, history, and sacrifice are ideas that the author is trying to take a look at in a new and interesting way. Symbolism can also add levels of meaning to a text, right? Well, there's that secondary meaning, right? So just put a little check, uh, we'll just put second meaning. And I, I think that's really all that needs to be said about that line. Most Native American cu cultures show deep respect for nature and the natural world is considered to have profound spiritual qualities. This word profound, means like especially important. Symbols of nature play an important role in Native American traditions, especially religious ones. Can you think of any other religious symbols, um, Native American or otherwise, right? Think of a cross, a pillar, right? Uh, fasting, a symbolic gesture, right? In the medicine bag, the medicine bag is an important symbol. So they just come out and tell you here. Think about other symbols connected with grandpa in the story. Well, let's do that briefly with just one part. Medicine bag. Okay, let's talk about this moment on page 18. Okay, and let's focus specifically on paragraph 48. This will be our intro to symbolism. Okay, please follow along in your notes as I annotate and talk about symbolism for Paragraph 48. When we got to my house, Grandpa was sitting on the porch. He had on his red shirt, but today he also wore a fringe leather vest trimmed with beads. Instead of his usual cowboy boots, he had solidly beaded moccasins on his feet. Of course, he had his old black hat on, he was seldom without it. But it had been brushed and the feather in the beaded headband was proudly erect. Its tip a bright white. His hair lay in silver strands over the red shirt collar. So let's take a moment and just look at some of the objects in here. One of the objects is his red shirt. Another is his fringe leather vest that has beads on it. 
uh, beads come up again on his moccasins, which are like a soft type of shoe, and his black hat, which he is seldom without, right? So we think the first, let's, let's focus on the feather first, right? Let's draw a little feather over here. That's a feather, all right? The first meaning is, it's just a feather. But even if we don't know a ton about Native American culture, look how it's described. His beaded headband was proudly erect, its tip of bright white, right? His headband that has the feather coming out of it, right? So, the secondary meaning, what could it be? What could the secondary meaning of this feather be? Well, look at some of the words that were circled throughout. We have our usual beat up cowboy boots, right? But we have a contrast, proud. Now it might be that you're usually proud, right? But if something is unusual and formal, you might think that it has more importance, right? It's unusual that you would wear a graduation gown every day, right? But um, you wear it proudly on one particular day when you graduate from high school or college, right? So clothing has a particular significance here, right? The feather here is pride. We also saw in our notes from earlier on page 23 that the natural world has profound spiritual qualities. Well, it is unlikely that the feather that he's wearing was made in a factory Right, so another secondary meaning besides pride is the natural world. Okay, so this is our breakdown of one symbol, a feather, or if you wanna be more general, you could also say how his clothing or outfit has a secondary meaning. Thank you.